people are no longer strangers to organ transplants, from the kidney to the liver to the lungs, the heart, and potentially the brain. But what about the reproductive system? Humans need to continue reproducing. But what happens when a reproductive organ doesn't function as needed? Something that happens all the time. How will people continue making babies to populate the earth? Well, that's where this new innovation comes in, penis transplants. Our war veterans are plagued with many types of injuries, both mental and physical, from PTSD to lost limbs. But genital damage, usually sustained from bombings, is commonly overlooked. Accompanying the physical pain, men losing an organ commonly associated with their identity can be a cause of shame and embarrassment. What's being done to combat this? Are penises really the next big innovation for organ transplants? Well, according to doctors at Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore, Maryland, the answer is yes. Two penis transplants have been attempted in 2006 in China, which was unsuccessful, and then again in 2014 in South Africa, which was a success, but one has never been attempted in the US until now. To start, the doctors at Hopkins must find a donor penis from a recently deceased patient, closely matching the age and skin color of the recipient. Then comes the surgery. What constitutes a successful penis transplant? Two things, urination and erection. The donor penis and the patient's nerves and blood vessels must be stitched together under a microscope, along with a urethra. But then, of course, the patient must be content and comfortable with the result. There is, however, another issue in question. Would it be okay with the patient and his partner to have such an intimate body part come from someone else? Good question. Dr. Gerard Butler, director of Hopkins Reconstructive Transplantation Program, compared penis transplants with other transplants that patients can see, like the hands or the face. He said that immediately after the surgery, the patient refers to the new hand or face as their own. At Hopkins, this technology is currently only being offered to wounded war veterans, with 60 patients in line awaiting donor penises. But future Future procedures hope to benefit those who are transgender or those who are born with reproductive defects. Now, the first of these US penis transplants has just recently happened, but we, the public, won't know if it was a success or not until a couple of months down the line. But we'll be here with a PsyQ update when that news comes out. We'd love your thoughts on this incredible scientific innovation. To all you guys, would you donate your penis to a wounded war vet? Or how about a gender reassigned patient? Let us know on Facebook, Twitter, by leaving us a comment in the comment section below. As always, more information about penis transplants and links to all the sources are in the description. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.